Hey guys, welcome back to the Python tutorial for beginners. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about variables. So um, let's go ahead and I've got PyCharm open, so we're going to go ahead and go to our uh, programming vault project that we created earlier. Um, here we go. <laughs> okay, so there's that. These are the the things we created last time when we were talking about comments. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of those for a second. So what are variables? Um, variables are really just containers that store data values, just like in algebra, right? In, in algebra, when you had 5 minus x equals 2, right? x was just a variable, really, for storing the value of 3. Right? It's the same thing in Python programming. Um, but one unique thing about Python is that you don't have to actually declare a variable. Um, most languages make you declare a variable by giving it a data type and actually creating it and maybe initializing it. Um, but not so in Python. In Python, a variable gets created and just automatically by simply assigning a, a, a variable to it. I'm sorry, by simply assigning a data value to it. Okay, so let's start looking at some examples of variables in Python. Um, but before we do, we're going to use our little commenting skills that we learned last time, and we're going to put down a few things that we need to know about variables in Python. Um, so first, all variable names in Python must start with a letter or an underscore. And underscore is that, right? Whoop, it's that. Um, another thing that we need to know is that variable names can only contain letters, numbers, and underscores. Uh, they can contain numbers, but the variable names cannot start with numbers. They have to start with a letter or an underscore. Um, also, in Python, variable names are case sensitive. So that means that car car and car those would be three completely different variables in Python you couldn't use those words interchangeably so moving on let's go ahead and, and do some examples so what if we just say this a equals 3 and B equals I don't know Wilbur right so we've created two variables now, one called A with a value of 3 and one called B with a value of Wilbur. Um, so let's go ahead and try to print them, right? So a variable really is only useful if you can use the variable name to get to the value. So let's see if we can. So we'll do that. And so in the print statement, we'll, we'll only put the variable name. And that let's see how this works out. Uh, yep, worked out just fine. I printed out the values of each of the variable names. Notice that it not it did not print out A or print out B. It printed out the values of the variables A and B. So now let's talk for a second about about assigning values to a variable. Um, Python automatically assigns a data type to your variables for you. You don't have to. Uh, we'll talk more about data types in a future video, um, but when you assign a string value like Wilbur to, to a variable, you can either do it using double quotes like I do, and really I just use double quotes out of habit because I programmed 
in a bunch of different programming languages. And by far the most common way to denote a string is with double quotes. But in Python, you can also use single quotes to denote a string. And when I say a string, I just mean a string of characters, right? I can use single quotes, right, for, for Wilbur. And it should be the exact same thing as using double quotes. So let's just print it out and give it a try. So we'll print that. Yep, the exact same string comes out whether you use uh, single quotes or double quotes. In Python and in the interpreter, the single quotes and the double quotes are seen as the exact same thing. Okay guys, let's talk about some other things that, that you can do with variables in Python. Um, go ahead and get rid of this for a second. So one thing you can do is you can create multiple variables at the same time, right? So I can say A, B, C equals Tom, Jim, and Nancy, right? So let's just print these out. And let's see that that did actually. So it's going to do these respectively, right? So the, the first value that you give it over here will go to the first variable A. The second value that you give it will go to the second variable B and so on, right? So let's just print this out and make sure that it does in fact work. It does. It prints out Tom, Jim, and Nancy. Nancy. Um, you can also assign the same value to multiple variables. So let's look at this for a second. So to do that, you could say A equals B equals C equals, I don't know, lemons. So let's print this out and see. I probably should have kept my print statements from last time, but I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. Okay, let's print this out and see that they're all the same value. They are. See, it printed lemons out three times there. So we created multiple variables all with the same value. Um, you can also use variables to print out output to a string. So let's try this. Let's say A equals super fast, right? And now let's go down here and say print my new car is plus A, right? So that should insert super fast in place of A down here, right? So that's called concatenation. When, when you put two strings together by using a plus sign, it's called concatenation. So let's run it, make sure it works. It does. My new car is super fast. Not really, but that's what the string says anyway. Um, okay, so what about uh, what about addition? We can we, we can use these guys for mathematics too. I think, right? Let's say a equals two and b equals four. Then can we print a plus b? Let's give that a shot and see what happens. You can, right? It prints out six. Um, one thing to note that you cannot add a string together with a number, right? Let's run this and see what happens. You can't do it, right? You can only concatenate string, not int. You can't concatenate a string and an int, right? So. If you're going to do uh, an addition symbol, it has to either be both strings or, or, or both numbers, right? You can't concatenate a string with a number. 
Okay, so that's about everything I guess there is to know about Python variables. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about them, and if this has helped you, um, or if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and you'll get notified every time I make a future video. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.